All right, guys, so welcome back to another video, and this is gonna be a direct follow-up video from my last video I put out there on my Range Rover on the five terrain response system mode. And basically, I said that it's it's all gimmick. Uh, and so I still stand by that. And I know there's been a lot of comments going back and forth, and, and I wanna prove to you guys that, again, if you guys just stay in the automatic mode, it's gonna be the best mode to stay in because it does everything that you would expect in your Land Rover. And which means that it will it will automatically engage the center transfer case. It will automatically lock your rear lockers if you have them like I do. And so that's what I want to do is prove to you guys that you don't need to be in there. Now, having said that, it is nice to have the intuitive dashboard telling you that it's engaging the center transfer case or the rear lockers or the tires kind of moving back and forth. It's a very intuitive instrument, you know, visual to have. And, it's, and I agree, it's pretty awesome. And, but it's all gimmicky and, and it's, it's, a, it's a selling point, okay? Because it looks cool. And that's what I think people who buy these things, that's what they look, that's what they go for is, oh, that's pretty awesome because it has all these graphics and whatnot. With that being said, let's get to the demonstration. Basically, I'm stuck on this hill on, in the sand and I'm going to give a little gas and then break a little gas and then break now if you guys are not familiar with how lockers work or what to look for you're gonna see that my rear lockers will hopefully engage and both wheels will turn at the exact same speed and then if I break and then go again it's gonna start up both of them at the same time and it's gonna turn at the same rate if they do if they do not engage that means my automatic mode was what I'm telling you is wrong. I am wrong. Okay. So what I'm so the proof, so the point of this video is hopefully to share with you guys that I am right that you don't need to be in the other train response mode to engage the lockers. Okay. So let's get to a demo and we'll come back and you guys tell me what you think. All right, so I hope you guys kind of got the idea that uh, you don't need to be in any of the other modes to uh, to lock your center transfer case or your rear differential lockers if you have them. So it just it does it all through ABS. As soon as your ABS senses something is spinning, it will automatically lock the rear lockers and your center transfer case all on its own. That you can see how both tires was actually engaging at the exact same time, and I was in I was in, in automatic mode. So you know, I don't know what to say, but but you just got to, you know, go out yourself and just play around with this in the snow and the sand is really the best place to really learn your 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 four wheel drive system in your Rover, your Land Rover, whatever you have, LR3s, 2s, 4s, whatever. Uh, go out there and really play with it, you know, get yourself stuck and try to get out of it and really understand your off road system before you guys really go off road on a long venture somewhere. So that's my recommendation. Anyways, and if you guys have any other suggestions on how I can set up my demonstration to be more effective or better visual, let me know. But yeah, I'd love to hear your guys' recommendation on some other demos that you would like to see on this train response. And then if you guys want to share with me your videos or any other videos that would debunk what I'm trying to say, you know, please share that with me as well because I'm here to learn as much as you guys are. These are all from my experience. Uh, from off-roading for a while, not only in this Rover, but my Land Cruisers and my Jeeps. Um, I've come to learn how they all all works together. And this particular Land Rover is no different other than it's got a little bit of graphics and visual aids to kind of get, you know, make you feel good about what's going on in your $100,000 Range Rover. Um, but again, I, I don't know what to, what, to, what to say here. It is what it is. All right, so with that being said, Thanks for watching. God bless. Be safe out there in the COVID world. We'll see you guys in the next video.